Hello and welcome to this video. Here I have a Brinks padlock that one of my co-workers took along from his USA holiday. And Manuel, thank you very much for this great little lock. So it's the first time for me that I could get my hands on a Brinks padlock. I really appreciate it. So we will play with this lock a little bit, but before I want to show you some information that is uh, printed here at the back of the package. It says cut resistance and it says pry resistance and very interestingly it tells us how to open this lock, this 5 pins lock, uh, because here this uh, picture clearly indicates it. Uh, you have to use a pick and uh, an attention wrench. And of course that's what we will do. Uh, but before we have a look at the inside, so it has no ball bearings, just a standard locking mechanism, but on both sides, which is good, and it has a hardened shackle, hopefully hardened, and of course it's high security. All right, so let's give it a try. That's the bidding on the key, not too bad. Two deep cuts here, oops, pardon, two deep cuts here, uh, protecting the pins here at the end. Works very nice. And yeah, they say on their package information that we should uh, pick it or use uh, a pick and a tension wrench. And yeah, that's what we do now. Try to single can pick it. And yeah, this floppy core has a very wide keyway, so I use, sorry, I use a Peterson hook, the thick one, and apply light tension, search for a binder or for binders, gotta turn on the core, and there are no security pins, so this is not a false set, <laughs> don't worry. It's open. All right, that was SPP. Close again. And so now the next technique uh, I want to try is sipping. So with a rapid uh, pull out motion, I try to cause all pins to clear the shear line at the same time. So light tension. Try again. And it's open. Okay, sipping works, SPP works. Now try the last, which is of course rocking or raking. <coughs> I use a triple peak, uh, Sparrow's rake, and up and down and back and forth. Let's see if it opens. And here we are, it's open again. So, all three opening techniques successfully applied to this nice Brinks padlock. So maybe they should not state high security. <clears throat> they could advertise it with like um, great confidence builder um, recommended for newbies to the lock sports hobby, for example. And they could use they could take the take twice of the of the price it actually costs today. Um, yeah. Not that it is mm, insecure, it is also dangerous. And that was uh, very, um, yeah, very shocking for me to read. <clears throat> Here we read, warning, this product contains one or more chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Wash hands after handling. Pooh. So... Okay, so now we know everything about this lock. It's a great confidence builder for newbies to the lock spots hobby. And, ladies and gentlemen, when you play with this lock, as it is so dangerous, please wash your hands. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking. Bye bye. Uh, quick addendum uh, regarding the hardened aspect. I took a file and give it a stroke and you can see one stroke causes this this scratch here and 
I think I can take a saw and cut through this shackle within 10 seconds. So this is another uh, test. It's all around the, the same, um, well, type of metal. Uh, not really hardened. But anyhow, it doesn't matter. We don't want to cut it, we want to pick it. And for newbies to the lock sports hobby, this is an excellent lock. Thanks, bye bye.